Hey, what's up everyone? So, Troll Hunters Season 2. It's been about a year since the first Troll Hunters, and I've been waiting for this second season because the last season ended in a cliffhanger. So, this starts off about two weeks after the last season, where Jin went into the Darklands to find Claire's little brother, and the majority of this first season is Jim traversing the Darklands and trying to survive while Claire, Toby, and Blinky try to find a way to open up a portal to get him out. And the second half, because this season you can kind of divide in two halves. The first half, like I said, is, you know, Claire and Toby trying to get Jim out of the Darkland and Jim trying to survive the Darkland. The second season, which, spoilers, Jim escapes. <laughs> I don't know how much of a spoiler that actually is, you know, unless you thought he was going to die down there. Uh, when he eventually gets out, uh, it becomes more of a more of standalone episode. It's kind of like a, in the first season, in the first few episodes where, you know, they have monsters or trolls or anything kind of demonic creatures or whatever you want to call them come out and they kind of handle them. And... There's also the, there's an overarching storyline, you know, in these individual episodes building up to the climax of the season, but overall they're just kind of these episodes that you can, like I said, call them standalone. This season is fantastic. If you love the first season of Troll Hunters, you will love this season. It was, it was great. The, the first, you know, when Jim is in the Darkland, I just absolutely loved it. The Darklands look amazing they're really interesting in my opinion and it was a really hardship for Jim and he became a great or better fighter because of it it's really interesting stuff and the the second half of the season it has some great episodes um, the the final episode I I absolutely loved uh, I just got done watching it after I, I finished watching it I was so pumped up like I had to calm myself down before making this video it was just amazing it was a great ending you know Guillermo del Toro and his team they know what they're doing you know because I cannot wait for the second se or the next season the third season because this ending like I don't really want to talk spoilers because I feel like this is one of the best animated shows out there right now and you should just go watch it but if you've seen the first season and that cliffhanger with Jim going to the dark land if that got you pumped Wait until you watch the end of this season because that was nothing compared to this because there's a lot of things going on in this final episode and it keeps you excited and it's just an overall great episode. Like I said, I, I want to talk about it, but if I start talking about it, I know I'm going to go into spoilers. Just watch this season and check out that final episode and let me know what you think because I thought it was amazing. Like I, I hope we don't have to wait an entire year for the next season because I think that would be absurd or I, I can't wait that long. <laughs> it felt like forever the last time. Um, but as much as I love this season, there were a few flaws I guess you can say. This season is only 13 episodes long, which kind of sucks, you know, because the last season was 26 episodes, so this is half of it. I don't know if Netflix just cut this season in half to create another season. Because that's something they've been doing lately. I know with the, the Voltron show, they they cut those seasons in half so that they can have extra seasons and they can, you know, instead of waiting an entire year for the next season, you know, you have, uh, you know, half a season, you know, within a few months and then after that, you know, towards the end of the year, you get another half of the season, which can be a good or a bad thing. Um, the way this show ended with the first half, I think it, it's, it's going to work. Um, but hopefully... It, it, it does end up working in the second season or the next season feels more or completed so like I said it's, it's just a great season I give it a 9 out of 10 I think that's only well I have another complaint I guess the only two things that really bugged me was like I said 13 episodes long and then two of the episodes I kind of didn't really care about they're, they're fine episodes but I felt like they're setting up something more because uh Guillermo del Toro, like, supposedly Troll Hunters only has one more season, but the Troll Hunters universe isn't complete. There's going to be uh, two more series that connect to this one. Uh, I forget what they, their overall story or their universe is called, but they're going to have stories involving aliens and 
uh, wizards, I believe. So those stories are gonna connect to the Troll Hunters universe and Troll Hunter stories. I don't know if uh, all these are Jim and Dan are gonna be part of those shows. Like they they haven't really said that. I I kind of assume they will be part of it, but like I said, it hasn't really. They haven't said anything so far. They haven't announced too much, and there's something out there about it. But there's a couple episodes they uh, were you know those episodes where you see the point of or characters in one point of view and then there's like characters doing other things throughout that episode and they kind of pass each other they, there's two episodes that are like that they're fine episodes but i feel like uh one of them focuses on uh two uh characters who we've seen in the first season who become a little bit more important in the season uh, i feel they're kind of setting those characters up for those other shows because in that show or in that episode one of the characters is like, oh, you know, there's trolls and monsters and aliens and wizards who exist in this world or whatever. So it kind of seems like they're setting out those two characters to do more or maybe be part of their own series or maybe separately. I'm not really sure, but it kind of slowed down the pacing, at least for me. I was like, oh, there were still good episodes, like I said, but it it kind of felt like, hey, we're, we're setting something else up, you know, because it, it kind of felt awkward and weird focusing on you know, two characters who were just side characters before, now like, hey, hire bigger emphasis than them. I really enjoyed the episode, like I said, they were good episodes, but it just, it felt out of place, you know, like when you're watching something, you're just like, they're setting up a, another show, it kind of felt like that, so those two things, you know, short season, that little kind of maybe set up for those other episodes, those are the only two things that really b bothered me. Overall, like I said, it's a 9 out of 10 freaking season. I absolutely loved it. There was great action. The animation still looks amazing. I love the character designs in the world. There was uh, more world building. And that ending, like, the climax just... That, that cliffhanger was great. There was, like, multiple things they shot at you. But it was just, like, one after another. I, like, I swore. I stood up and I was like, no. No. And every time I went, like, no, something else happened. And I was just like... It's crazy. It's just like, I cannot wait for that next season. So, if you haven't seen the show, definitely go check out the first season and then watch the second season. I highly recommend it. They're, it's a fantastic show. They do a fantastic job. Like, so the animation, the action, the character development, the characters, all their interactions, I just, it comes together as a whole. And like I said, it's one of the best animated shows out there right now. And you can check out the entire show, that, or just about the entire show. The first two seasons on Netflix. Like I said, go check it out after you're done watching this video if you haven't. And if you have watched this, or the first and the second season, let me know in the comments below what you think. And let me know what you thought of that ending. Um, try to be a little bit vague, just in case someone does read and they haven't seen the last episode. But let me know, or at least be, let me know if that you thought that was a crazy ending. Like I seriously want to talk to someone about that ending because it was just so fantastic. As always, thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. Hey, if you like this video, we have several other awesome videos you can check out. And again, thanks for watching.